The president beat the cold this morning by tweeting so much his phone began to act as a space heater. He <laughs> tweeted 11 times before 10 a.m. He's making plans now to declare a national emergency on the border. The idea, I guess, is to declare an emergency and then take money that has been earmarked for real emergencies like floods and hurricanes and use it for a wall that won't do anything instead. Sometimes I'm kind of amazed he only bankrupted three casinos. <laughs> but he had a lot to say about this wall this morning. Um, including this little gem. He, uh, he wrote, let's just call them walls from now on and stop playing political games. A wall is a wall. And you know what, he's right, a wall is a wall. It's a, I even looked it up in the dictionary. You can see, <laughs> definition of wall, a, one, a wall. Or a continuous, solid, vertical structure that Donald Trump is definitely not getting. <laughs> I don't even know why he wrote this. Who's playing political games? Who's saying a, a wall is... Would you, I remember when someone once told us that it doesn't matter whether it's called a wall or not. A wall or a slat fence or whatever you want to call it. The barrier, the wall, or steel slats, whatever you want to call it. The barrier, the wall, call it whatever you want. The wall or barrier, whatever you want to call it. The walls or the steel barriers or whatever you want to call it. You can call it a barrier, you can call it whatever you want. A steel barrier or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the wall, the barrier, whatever you want to call it, it's okay with me. They can name it whatever they can Name it Peaches. I don't care what they name it. I, I, I like that name, Peaches. I think maybe a wall of peaches, you know? <laughs> People come up from Mexico, they have a snack, they go home. <laughs> this is funny, you know? <laughs> I don't know if you heard this, but you know how Trump's been saying that Muslim prayer rugs have been found at the border and that women are getting tied up and bound with duct tape? Well. The White House looked into this and found no evidence to back up the president's claim. It's a bad sign when even the White House is like, we have no idea what he's talking about either. It's, and even nuttier, the per, someone figured this out. This, the prayer mats and the duct tape were all, these were all plot points from the movie Sicario. <laughs> so, it's a good thing the president hasn't seen Star Wars because he'd probably be asking for money to build a Death Star right now. And, as you may know, Trump has been very critical of his own intelligence officials this week. Yesterday, he said maybe the intelligence people should go back to school after they contradicted many of his foreign policy beliefs during their testimony in Congress. But today, at the White House, the president said it was all a bigly misunderstanding and everything is fine. Mr. President, did you talk to your intelligence chiefs today about the displeasure you had with their testimony? I did, the and they uh, said that they were totally misquoted and they were totally, uh, it was taken out of context. So what I do is I'd suggest that you call them. Uh, they said it was fake news, so, which well, frankly didn't surprise We just ran exactly me. what me. they said to Excuse Congress. Me. It didn't surprise me at all. But we're here to talk right now about China. <laughs> They were misquoted. By the way, this was a hearing that was televised live from the Senate, unedited. There was no way to even make it into fake news. But I think we're, you know what, we are missing the point. We're here to talk about China. <laughs> I wonder if Trump saw this. Chris Christie was on CNN last night to promote his new book and to explain how he tried to stop Donald Trump from hiring one of the guys who got into this, him into this Russia mess. Proofs in the performance. Yes, it, it, putting it, people in that weren't vetted, listen. getting thrown out in unprecedented fashion, yep. doing things we've never seen officials at that level do in this no. kind of number. Listen, Chris, I, I, the day after the election, I practically threw my body in front of the president-elect, <laughs> begging him not to, to appoint Michael Flynn national security advisor. <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't work? <laughs> 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 if that didn't work, the wall ain't gonna work either. I got news for you. <laughs> Chris Christie also said that in the, in the book, he says, Trump, Donald Trump is the one who told him to get lap band surgery. I would have loved to have heard that conversation. And I'm sure <laughs> the president handled that gently. Chris, you fat. <laughs> Go get surgery. <laughs> if you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.